We're heading towards a closing bell at 1 p.m. today on Christmas Eve, and we're also keeping an eye on what's going on with these new variations of the COVID-19 virus. These latest strains are a lot of cause of concern for many people. Angelique Kemlani follows COVID-19 and the pandemic for us here at Yahoo Finance. What's the latest? Where are we? So, Adam, where we are is that we know that the UK strain has taken over uh, the focus in terms of where it has been detected uh, outside of the UK. Various countries reporting, including the latest from Germany. Uh, we have not yet known whether it, just how far and wide it has spread, but we do know, of course, that it spurred uh, those travel bans earlier this week. Uh, there's also an additional strain that was found in the UK that originated in South Africa, and that was reported yesterday. And so we're still keeping an eye on this. Of course, going back to the idea that mutations, variations, uh, strains, et cetera, are not uncommon, and they are things that we're being watched. The, the ones that we've uh, heard more about now are uh, caused concern because of how they mutated and what the concerns are there in terms of whether or not the vaccines that are now out and about are going to be able to be uh, effective against them. Uh, changes to the spike protein, which, as I've explained, is where the vaccines target uh, was the cause for concern. But as it stands right now, we got a, a statement from Moderna last night uh, saying that they believe that based on the analysis of the UK strain, they the vaccine should still hold. Uh, meanwhile, we're looking uh, across the U.S. as immunization organizations uh, continue to take place. The shipments continue to roll out, as we heard from Operation Warp Speed yesterday. We also got a little bit of insight into the numbers and the targets. You know, while uh, 20 million doses from each company are expected by the end of this year, and we're, we're fast approaching that date, uh, the ramp up of the actual immunizations uh, is a little bit slower than expected. We heard from Operation Warp Speed's Monsef Slaoui yesterday uh, saying that while the target was to get uh, 20, 20 million uh, uh, vaccinated by the end of December, the ramp up is slower than they had expected, is what he said. And he blamed the states for that and, and said, you know, the federal government is willing to help as much as possible, but their role in, in terms of shipping out the vaccines is done. And it's up to the states then to then continue on and, and have those vaccinations done. So unclear if we'll get to that point. We also know they've set a target of 100 million doses by February. So we'll wait to see uh, how that happens, Adam.